My name is Chip Ranzler again. And I'm Mano Sena. And we're from Husk Power Systems. And uh, before we start our presentation, we just want you to help us decide on making an investment. So we're going to ask you to stretch one more time, but pretend you're CEOs or board members of a huge uh, energy company, a worldwide energy company. And we're going to give you some criteria and tell us if you want to invest in it. If, if so, raise your hand and keep it raised until you don't want to. So the first thing, the first data point we want to give you is there are 350 million rural Indians who do not have electricity. And right now, if we turn those guys on with a flip of a switch, we, that'll be a market of $19 billion. And in five years, that'll be $40 billion. So I'm investing. anybody want to do that? That sounds pretty good. Okay, good. Hey guys, don't let Chip mislead you. Let me give you another source of information. One third of the 350 million customers that he's talking about will either default payment in the very first year and or resort to some sort of electric electricity stealing. And we'll have to run wires for hundreds of kilometers to reach these pockets of villages and we'll be wasting about 50% of the total power we are generating. <laughs> Uh, and I'm guessing these are in little teeny pockets, right. like 2,000 people, and they're not going to pay us much. Mm -mm. And also, they're probably, if we don't do a good job, which we're probably not going to, <laughs> that, they'll, that they'll, uh, they'll probably steal our power lines too, right? right. Yeah, that's, this is no good. So, oh, no. So from top-down approach, this, this does not make sense for an investment. The boardroom doesn't make sense. You guys, nobody has their hands up. But we think this is a great idea. So Husk Power Systems is heavily invested in this opportunity. Uh, we are a uh, company which makes uh, off-grid power systems for rural India. We make 35, to, we design, own, and operate 35 to 100 kilowatt uh, distributed systems in India that run on rice husk, as Andrew said. And we do this because we think it actually makes a lot of sense, but you really have to take what you know and change your perspective. So let me see if I can convince you to change your perspective. What do, you guys think, uh, what do you guys think this is? For a lot of you, this is either a twig or a waste. For me personally, this is a toothbrush that I use when I go to these villages. Next. What is this? This is rice husk. 20 to 25 million tons of rice husk was produced last year in India and was mostly burnt or was rotting in the field. For us, husk power systems, this is an essential ingredient that we use to convert or gasify to a clean source of electricity. So we figured out the technology part of it, how to generate power. Now, the other side of it was how to connect to these people's needs. As Bunker Roy was talking about in the morning, I grew up in these villages, and I clearly understand the pain that one has to go through just reading a book under a, a lantern light. So I went back to these villages, connected to my own people. Some of these are my distant relatives as well, to understand how intelligently we can solve their problem in a most economic fashion. So we thought the way to do that was to buy, combine what was great about power systems with what was great about village life. So for example, power, big energy companies make very cheap power with an abundant uh, energy source like natural gas or coal. They also provide infrastructure, so if you want reliable power, you can build businesses off that power. Finally, they provide grid systems which allow people to be able to use as much power as they like and others can use a lot, some can only use a little bit. So how did we bring the community best practices to, to, to work? We actually went to the village to get community buy-in. We convinced a council of elderly people. We recruited three to four local villagers to run these plants. And we actually bought their rice husk that they were wasting. So if you step back and uh, look at the sum total of it, we are actually providing a tool, a tool that they can use to generate extra cash by opening small businesses or small enterprises. So we solved the problem. Now they are willing to pay us now. And what we get is an ability to give them affordable electricity and to make a profit. Within six months, each of our plants is actually operationally profitable. As well, we, we are able to break even on each one in about 2.5 years. And we actually save, because people change from kerosene and diesel to electricity, they save almost 200 tons of CO2 per year per village. So where are we today? We have electrified five villages today, which is equivalent to lighting 12,000 people's houses. And uh, last week itself, we closed a round of financing with Shell Foundation, thanks to them. Uh, that validates our idea today. And we, are, uh, we will be able to meet 20 villages by July 2009. 
And, it's, and India is really just the beginning. 350 million of them are just a part of the worldwide issue. That's about a billion people, as you've probably heard a couple times today. We've had literally hundreds of people contact us about doing joint partnerships to use our technology and our model all across the world. And in five years, we've got some great things in store. We think we've got about five million customer possible to, to have about five million customers in about five years, offset almost a million tons of CO2, and globally expand. We already are working on a pilot deal with in Ecuador right now that will be hopefully going live in about 10, uh, 10 months. Hmm, so why is CHIP so confident? Well, we are so confident because of the feedback that we got from our first village, from the first customer. And this is what he said. We, the people of India, got independence in 1947, about 60 years ago. But I personally, or we, the people of this village, got independence today when Husk Power Systems came in and provided power for the first time in August of 2007. Thank you.